Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we are going to be talking about stairs. We have stairs that we can go up, stairs that we can go down, stairs that we can fall through, and then finally, we have stairs that we can jump on. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. If you download the demo project from the description below, you'll have something that looks like this, where we can move left or right, we can jump on the stairs, we can fall through, but we can't actually traverse up them, either with jumping or holding the up arrow. So the first thing I want to fix is the actual jumping on the stairs itself. If I go into the objects and then go to the object player and the step event, you can see right here at the top, we have an is ground check. Now there's two ways that we can write this. We could check to see if the ground is equal to false. So is on ground equals false. Then we can perform another check, which is just copying and pasting this here and then changing the object solid to an object stairs. And that will enable us to jump up and down the stairs. So if I run my game again, I can now jump on the stairs and I can continue on with my level, hitting my jump key and just going through the level. If we wanted to clean our code up, we could get rid of everything and just say is ground is going to be equal to the place meaning of this one or the place meaning of the stairs. And if we take everything out after that and we hit F5, you'll notice that when I run my game, I'm able to jump on the stairs and then I can jump off them just like I was in the previous section. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually traverse up the stairs. So we're going to close this and close the step event for a second and open up the create event. We have a key up and that's the key that I want to hold down to actually go up the stairs. The next thing I want to mention is if we go to our sprites and we go to the stair sprite, notice that the height is 16, but our solid sprites are 32. So we're dealing with half the width. The final thing I want to mention is in the player sprite, if I go to the collision mask, I'm not using a full collision. I just have it down here at the bottom because I don't want to run into the stairs and then be automatically teleported to the top of them. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, if I go back to the object player, we'll open up the step event and maximize that. We're going to be doing all of our code inside the horizontal movement, and especially right before we do any collision checks. So in here, the very first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are pressing the up key. So we could use a keyboard check just to make sure that we are holding the up key. And now the next thing we have to do is we have to check for a collision of the stairs. And we can easily do this with the place meeting like we've done with all the solid objects. We're just basically checking the place meeting plus the horizontal movement along the same Y axis. And if we collide with these stairs, then we just need to grab the instance and we'll grab the instance using instance place and the same horizontal and Y position. And then with this instance, we need to ensure that there is nothing above it. And to ensure there is nothing above it, we can use a collision point where we will give it the instance dot X position, the instance dot Y position, and let's move it up a tiny bit. We'll say up 16. Now let's look for a object of object solid stairs. We do not need this to be precise, and we are not going to include the player in this collision check. So if the collision point returns no one, then we know that right above the stairs, it is free. So right now, what I want to do is I just want to change the Y position. I'll say Y position equals the instance of Y, which is the stairs that we are colliding with, minus the instance dot sprite height, which will bring us up to 16. Now, if I run my game again and I go over to my stairs and I hold the up key, you can see that now I can move up the stairs and I can go down. The only thing I can't do is I can't make this little lip going onto the object solid. We can fix this by basically copying what we have here, pasting it below and changing anywhere that we have the solid stair into just the solid object. Now I'm going to run my game one more time and we're going to see what this produces. So if I come over here and I move up, you can see that we have a little bit of a bump. It's a little bit higher than what we should have when we go up the stairs. To make this fix, all we need to do is remember that the solid instance of the solid sprite was 32 pixels. So let's take the sprite and divide it in half, which will bring it back down to 16. If I run this one more time, you'll see that that big jump is gone when we go to the solid object. And there you have it. That is how you can traverse up and down the stairs in this particular level. Now this does create a little bit of an issue when we have something like this. If I hold the up key and I'm moving to left or right within this gap, you can see that my, my actual character will go up here. So whether or not you want that, that's totally up to you. So yes, you can download the source code for this on the Patreon. And I'd like to thank you for watching. A special shout out to the following in no particular order, Ian, Darth Wolf, Annie, Robert, 
Ashby, Paul, Victor, Edward, and Angel. Once again, thank you everyone for the support. And like always, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And don't forget to leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.